Hi, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Teal, contributing editor at Channel Futures. We're here with Channel Partners TV at the Channel Partners Conference and Expo in Las Vegas. This is Kim Storen, the CMO of Zayo. Thank you for joining me, Kim. Yeah, thanks for having me again. This is my second year in a row and it's so exciting to be back. Excellent, well, that's great news. Let's talk about Zayo and the network and the plans for 2023. There's constant expansion that you guys are doing. What's in the plans for this year? So much. It's really an exciting time at Zayo right now. On April 20th, um, we actually announced a pretty big expansion of our network. Um, we also announced some security features that we've added in and a industry first automation. Um, so we are bringing waves on demand. We launched eight routes with another six that are coming. Um, and together, all of this means that it's more agility, a more future ready network where our customers need us and then ultimately a safer internet and a safer network. So it's a pretty exciting time to be at Zayo. We're really pushing the limits. And that's some really critical stuff, um, stuff being a, a large term for a lot of important things that need to happen that agents need to know about. I'm really curious about waves on demand. Talk more about that. So what we've heard from, from our partners and from our customers is that more and more people want to procure their network um, just like they would a cloud provider, right? We're so used to apps, we're so used to instantaneous gratification in so many elements of our life that why shouldn't our network be on demand? And we've heard it over and over again and we realize that no one in the industry is really doing this. It's a huge opportunity for us to be differentiated and, and basically what we've done is we've turned on um, an automated waves on demand for eight of our most in-demand routes with six more coming, like I mentioned. And this basically means that people will be able to provision wavelengths in hours. And really that's minutes, but you know, ultimately it's basically on demand. So it's a really exciting opportunity to be first to market with something that we are hearing from our customers that is so important to them being able to be more agile, more flexible, um, and being able to, to scale with their customer needs. Why are these enhancements and investments so important to partners? Now, I realize that sounds kind of trite compared to what you just said, but I feel like these are big, big things you guys are tackling, especially with security being such an important topic. And this uh, quick provisioning is a big deal. So it go as deeply, uh, go as deep as you can into why this is so critical for partners. Well, I think it's critical to partners because it's what they're hearing from their customers. We are in, the middle of the bandwidth economy. Um, you know, I would say that you know, we've been talking about digital transformation for the last 10 years, and, and now we're really in the era of digital business. It's no longer transformation, it's just how customers are doing business. And, and the partners are hearing that day to day from the customers that they work with. And so ultimately, what we're trying to solve for is how do we make customers more effective? How do we enable their ability to provide digital business? How do they handle the fact that now so much of their workforce is distributed? Um, the fact that cyber attacks and cybersecurity is the number one priority of CIOs everywhere right now. Um, the fact that like we're in the era of AI, right? Generative AI is the hottest topic. Um, and we're seeing it, you know, really finally, I've been in the, the space of AI for many, many years, and we're finally seeing it at scale in production with real use cases. And that's what the partners are hearing from their customers. That's what they're seeing out in the market. And so really they're now able to, to trust Zayo to deliver the products and the managed services that they need to help their customers be successful. And ultimately our competitors are just not investing in the network and in digital business like Zayo is. And so it really provides us a differentiated opportunity to be a better partner to our channel partners. Okay, last question. How about enhancements and service delivery, enhancements in service delivery and customer service? Where does that play into all of these changes? Absolutely. So as we look at what we want to be known for in the market, it's really two things. The first thing is product innovation, which we've just talked about, right? The, uh, the on-demand, the agility, the security, the routes and the network. And, and so that's really critical, product innovation. But the other piece is, 
is how we manage and, and drive a customer experience that is like no other. And that's something that we're really focused on in terms of, of how we deliver our services. It's We actually had our, our highest installs of Zayo's history in the fourth quarter of last year. Um, we have built a customer success team that is almost like a SaaS customer experience, customer success team unlike what you see at typical telcos. So in a lot of ways, Zayo's really differentiating ourselves as an untelco telco, and that means that that customer experience is core to our DNA. So this industry is not known for how we deliver the best customer experience to our customers, and we're really trying to change that. So that combination of product innovation with customer experience is really what will um, set Zayo apart, but make our customers successful and our partners. We know that our partners want to, to be successful in this market and we think that those are the things that will help them get there. And what a great way to end the conversation. Thank you so much, Kim. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here and joining us on Channel Futures TV.